Hello and welcome to Console Cowboys. So in this video we're going to go over re-entrancy attacks. But much like the other videos in this series, if you have not read the blog yet, then the learning portion is not going to be in this video. It's actually in the blog. So please read that first and then come back and enjoy this video. So in front of me I have the GitHub link that's in the blog for the code for this example. And you were supposed to go through it and try to find the incorrect coding pattern that makes this vulnerability possible. So let's take a look at that now by taking this code and pasting it into Remix and then taking a look. I'm gonna select all of this code and I'm gonna open up Remix and once Remix opens up, I'm gonna hit the Solidity button and then I'm gonna head over to the File Explorer and create a new file. We're gonna call it Reentrancy, target, dot soul, and then I'm gonna paste that code in here. Now, your kind of homework before we hopped into this video was to take a look at this particular application and look for where the vulnerable pattern is. So we're gonna go through that right now and hopefully you were correct. So if we look at this, first we have a mapping up here and then we have three functions. Right, so this get balance function obviously is not going to be the issue. It's just going to return a balance. And then the deposit function up here, all we're doing here is we're just requiring that the balance of the sender plus the value being sent in is greater than or equal to the balance. And then it just updates that balance. So there's no interaction with other contracts here. But then if you look at the withdraw function, we actually have interactions with other contracts. So when there's interactions with other contracts via this call right here, you wanna check what's going on and make sure that we have a proper pattern in place that's not gonna get us in trouble. So in this case, if we do the checks effects interactions pattern on it, first when the function starts, we're doing a check, so we're requiring that the withdraw amount is less than the balance of the sender, but then Next, we should be doing effects, but we're not. We're actually doing interactions with another contract. We're calling into another contract. And then we're doing the effects, which is to update the balance of the sender by minusing the actual withdrawal amount. So right here, we have a violation of the pattern. Because of that violation of a pattern, we have a situation where our dangerous pattern may leave us open to reentrancy attacks. So we're gonna dive into that function a little bit more in the next video and write a malicious smart contract that allows us to test whether this is vulnerable. Hopefully you were able to spot this issue on your own. If not, no worries. Next time it should be a lot more familiar and you should have no problem spotting it. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and let your friends know who may be interested in watching it. I'll catch you later and see you in the next video.